you are welcome to my channel in this video we want to use the principle of tangency to reproduce the figure that is displayed on the screen now the first thing you're going to do is to draw your horizontal line this way you can see that and you mark any point of your choice let's say i am marking this point here at this point right now from that point i will assume that point to be this point here at the beginning of my line and the entire length of the line is 112 so i am going to measure 112 on that line right so this is 100 and this is 110, 11, 12 on that line. You can see that? So this is 112 to this point here. So I'm going to thicken it because on the figure, that line is thickened from that point to this point. Right? And the thickness from here to here is giving us 25 and I'm going to measure vertically in this manner let's just say from here to here I'll measure 25 on that line so I'll place it there I'm going to measure 25 on that line this is the 25 there from 0 to this is 25 now I'll come here also, I'm going to take it up to then if you look at it, I'll join from the beginning to what to the ending, right? I'm going to use faint line first of all. From here to here, I'll use faint line and I can use the thick line to cover this point and uh, this point. Now the next thing is, from this point to this point is 10, right? So I'm going to measure 10 millimeter away from this point. From here to here is 10, as shown in the figure. To this point here is 10. And I'm going to project it upward with the help of my what? My C square and T square. I'll draw a vertical line straight up. And see that now the next thing is the height from that point to this point here is giving us what 100 so i'm going to measure 100 from here from 0 to 10 is giving us what that's 100 now if you look at it on that point 100 itself which is here right i have the radius of what a radius of 9 on that point so i'll use the radius on, of nine and um i'll place it i'll measure nine on my meter rule this way i'll measure nine on my meter rule this way from here to here is given as nine all right you can see that and i'll place it at this point then the circle the semicircle is going in faint line you can see that and what we have there then the next one again from that same point which is this point from this point here which is the point you are seeing on the screen is to the next center is given as what as it right i'm going to measure it radius of it on my meter rule and i'll place it from this point to the next center right I'm going to draw another circle from this point that will be touching this particular circle here. This way. Faint line also. You can see that? Now the next thing is I want to connect this point to this point 
as shown on the diagram right now we are giving a radius to connect this arc, this arc here together with this arc we are giving the rate of what of um, 140 so what i will do is i'm going to measure 140 right from the point i want to connect which is this point here i measure 140 from that line this is 14 from 0 to 14 is 140 you can see that and um i'll just mark it on this point you can see that so i'll just take my compass if i want i'll just extend it or i'll just place my compass to that point from this point straight down to that 140 any of them now strike an arc this way i see the arc i'm striking now the next thing i'm going to do is that if you look at that arc it is going in and i do whenever a curve or a radius is going in is addition and the radius of that circle they're given as what nine so nine plus 140 that will give me 149 so i will now measure 149 on my meter rule i'll measure 149 on my meter rule 149 right I'll measure it this way from this point. I'll measure 149 from here. This is 0. This is 40, 140. Right? And this is 149 here. You see that? And I'll come to the point I want you to connect, which is this center, this circle here. I'll now strike an arc. So the arc is meeting my circle at this point here so from that point i'm going to place my compass at that point this way and i'll take it to this point that i want to connect let's connect to that point this point here you can see that I'm going to connect it to that point so this is what we have now I'm not taking from this point I see that okay, the next one is this so this is what we have so I've taken that side then the next one is that from this point to this point is radius of what 100 and this point is this point here right so i'm going to measure radius of 100 for my metal rule or simply i'll just move my compass from here straight down to this point here you can see that then i'll draw an arc this way is that again Now the next thing I'm going to do is that this next arc you're seeing here, the arc have a radius of what 105. If you notice it is on the same point as this other point here. So I'm going to measure 105 for my meter rule. 105 from here. 105 on my meter rule. And I'll place it at this point. Right? Now just strike and act this way. 
you can see that from here faint line to this point can you see that let me make it more visible now the next thing is the radius between the, the radius of this arc here you see it's going in they call it a fillet right and it's giving a result of what 15 so what i'll do is i'm going to measure 15 on my meter rule this way this is 15 now place it at this point where the two lines meet i'll track an arc at this point i'll track another arc here with the same radius i can place it here check an arc place it here also check another arc now now turn it from that point then it's connecting both of them now in doing that i can easily tick in from here to here right and also this also have radius of what from here you can see in a radius of what of six so i can easily measure six on my meter rule from zero to six here and i place it at this point where they meet i'll check an arc up and down and where they meet i'm going to check another arc this way i'll turn it here check another arc this way so at that point where they meet with the same radius i'm going to cover up that point so i'm going to close here up from here Right, and also here. Go to chicken here too. Clicking. This is what we have here. Right. Now we have successfully reproduced the figure. We know that to draw the dimensioning. So this is we will produce the figure that was asked to draw. If you find the video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching.